Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to talk about speech recognition. Let's continue. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the CMU Sphinx project. Okay. So this project is pretty awesome. It's actually uh, one of my favorite projects in speech recognition because it's very easy to set up. So let's click on tutorial. I'm going to talk about a little bit about the project, how it works. So the CMU Sphinx is a a toolkit for speech recognition which offers some models that you can go uh, that you can go and download them and start using them but if you have uh, to implement your own speech recognition project uh, for another language such, such as I don't know like Mandarin or Japanese uh, and you have the tools to do that and the knowledge you can do that using CMS Phoenix. Uh, I did that uh, a couple of months ago. I implemented a um, model in Portuguese for speech recognition. I actually used, I think, around three hours of speech to do that. So the results were very satisfying. Okay, the result was very good. I guess I, I could recognize my voice pretty good at that time. So let's uh, talk about some of the things. We have a lot of information on their page, okay? We have basic concepts of speech recognition, overview of the Simulus Phoenix Toolkit. We have the before you start, building application. Okay, so let's, let's talk about Pox Phoenix, which is the implementation uh, in C, but it has a binding for Python. Okay, that it has a binding for Python, which is pretty awesome because we can use this uh, in, in Python, which is a very great great language. So uh, I'm gonna talk about how you can install this on Windows. Okay, uh, on Linux systems, pretty easy. Just uh, open the terminal if you know uh, what the terminal is. This is the command prompt of Windows. It's not the same, but what you could do actually is pip. If you want to work with Python 3, you, what you would do is sudo pip3 uh, uh, install box sphinx, and that would work. Okay, but we are on Windows, and this doesn't work. Uh, so let's. I'm just gonna execute this, guys, for you guys can see how it works. I'm gonna execute pip3, which is almost the same as pip, but uh, on Linux distributions that would. Okay, as you guys can see, we have requirement already satisfied. Okay, because I already have this installed on my computer. I installed though through a wheel file. So I recommend you guys to download this wheel file, which you can find right here. Let's find the package pocket sphinx as you guys can see right here you guys can came to this website which has a lot of will compiled will wheel files for windows okay so you guys can see we have for python 2.7 uh 3.4 3.5 3.6 and it has for both 32 and 64 bits uh, this is my Python version, so I have this file. Okay, you you guys just download this file, and the next step is just to install through pipe pip actually. Okay, use pipe. I, I guess it's pipe or pip. I don't know exactly how to pronounce in English, but yeah. So you guys download this file, uh, as you guys can see right here. After that, you just run command like this, and let them just. Um, came over here to pick a file so here I have some packages as you guys can see um, I did a, a download from this website so box Phoenix right here and what you need to do to get the file path is to double uh, right click uh, came to properties and security and you just select the full path of the file Okay, like this, you click and copy. My, my, 
Uh, operating system is in Portuguese, so you guys are seeing Portuguese instead of English. So you came to the terminal. Remember to run the terminal as administrator, okay? And after that, you just type pip install and you uh, hold control V to paste. And this is the full path of the file that I've just downloaded, okay? And you click enter. And after that, you be installing this on your system okay so as you guys can see that it was successfully installed uh boxing 0 0.1.3 okay so that's how you install this on windows okay so thanks guys for watching this video see you guys next time